Welcome back, everybody. I hope you have had a or are having a very nice Thanksgiving. It's cloudy and we have some rain showing up in the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. It's moving into western Illinois, but it's not moving very quickly. So it's coming in very slowly, which means that it'll be well after midnight, most likely before we have any rain here in the MyFox 10 viewing area. But we can see on the bigger picture here, the satellite does show quite a large area of rain that goes all the way down through Missouri and then into the southern states. In fact, this extends all the way down into Texas and there's some snow behind it. Now, I'm not concerned about snow moving into our region, at least not just yet, because we're going to keep the temperature up a little bit. It is going to be cooler by this time tomorrow night. It's not going to be 61 degrees or 60 degrees as it is now. It'll be a little bit cooler because we do have this cold front coming through, and that's what's causing a lot of this to happen. But look at this. See, it goes all the way from actually Canada all the way down into Texas. And as Patrice mentioned, some parts of Kansas and some parts of the uh, middle part of the United States get getting ice storms and just all kinds of horrible wintry weather. And so a lot of travel problems out here west of us. As for us around here, not bad. There is rain coming in, but once again, it's not going to be around until later on tonight. So Casey has 62 and Effingham 62, 59 and Olney, Flora 61, Vincennes 58 and Linton 60, Bloomington 59. Now, to put this in perspective, the average daytime high for this date uh, would be at about 49 degrees. So we're on borrowed time as far as these temperatures are concerned. Uh, the wind has increased somewhat. At 7 o'clock on my Fox 10, we had a nice, a nice gentle 7 mile per hour breeze, but it's doubled to 14 miles per hour. Paris 20, uh, Mattoon 14, and so we still have a pretty brisk wind now here. And of course, the barometer is falling as well. And so as the barometer continues to fall, uh, the wind will increase. So it's going to be kind of breezy. Let's take a look at the Storm Team 10 Futurecast then. Here we have at 6 o'clock in the morning, we may have a little rain develop out a little ahead of this actually, but this is where we have the bulk of the rain. So early tomorrow morning before sunrise, and then this rain moves in. This is noon tomorrow, and then we get into tomorrow afternoon. Look at this. I haven't seen actually a, an image like this in quite some time where you have such a large area of rain. This is tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, and then we go through the overnight hours tomorrow night. This is midnight tomorrow night into the first part of the day on Saturday. Then about noon on Saturday, we might start to break up a little bit. We may start to get a little more scattered as far as the rain goes, but still the possibility of rain on Saturday and most likely into Sunday as well. 54 degrees, rain developing overnight or toward morning, uh, and then uh, wind will actually be up to 15 miles per hour, sometimes becoming a little gusty at 22. And then rainy and breezy tomorrow, High of around 57 degrees or so. If we cross over the midnight tonight and the temperature is still around 60 or so, so the high for tomorrow would be 60, but it'll be in the vicinity of this. But then falling throughout the course of the day as the temperature tomorrow night drops to about 38 degrees. Again, a chilly northeast breeze tomorrow night, so not as pleasant outside tomorrow night as it is tonight. And then this rain, it's slow to move in. It's going to be slow to move out. Chance of rain on Saturday, noticeably cooler. High on Saturday of only 44, 46 on Sunday, and 50 on Monday, then cool and dry for the beginning of December.